Uh, we belong to one discipline, sociology, and we want to belong to one uh, discipline. But this can be connected or associated with linguistic domination, Western categories, with some hegemony. This film offers a glimpse of the varied debates that took place at an extraordinary conference of the ISA in Taiwan. Although many other themes were discussed, the film focuses on four. Linguistic domination, unequal access to resources, privatization of research, and searching for alternative theories. I think that all, most of the people who have spoken and people who have English as a second language have expressed the opinion that English is necessary because we do need a lingua franca and this happens to be at hand, if that is so. And whether it's English and whether in the future it's Chinese, it doesn't really matter very much. We need a lingua franca. The place of language in contemporary world is the result of competition. The language question, it's a paradoxical question and it needs to be treated with extraordinary seriousness because I know that some of my most talented colleagues do not feel that they can express themselves in the International Sociological Association. I would love current sociology, international sociology journals to accept uh, um, a submission in other languages. Uh, at least for Mexico, uh, of course, we, we, we have some pressures to publish in, in, in English, in, but uh, 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 we have a, a very good uh, journal in, in Spanish, and uh, we encourage people to do that because, uh, yes, it's, 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 it's need to be balanced. Arabic publications did not count, and now we are fighting. We've been fighting through that Arabic becomes Arabic publications become, uh, if you want to, taken into consideration. Funnily enough, some of the American journals that are classed as international are in fact national, mm -hmm. because of course they do not ever need to have foreign intellectuals on their editorial boards. So this is kind of a symmetry there. We produce this asymmetry uh, in our own, own practice, and, and of course, you know, it's a very difficult uh, question to answer, you know, whether we should have different standards, you know, I mean, how can you really make sure that everybody has access to equal resources? It's, it's easier said than that. Dealing with the dominant structures that run our life and how we should be able to reshape and reconfigure it. When we have to attend a conference, mm -hmm. we naturally have to rely on external support because no government would support you to attend a conference. No government, no, no university would support you to attend a conference. No private foundation is there to support you to attend a conference. And so, so how can Southern sociologists participate in the global public discourse? There is a need for solidarity across the sociological profession, you know, ranging from the north to south and east to west, so that we might be able to address this asymmetry you know, collectively, and I think we might have to think in terms of strategies to address, you know, the asymmetry. I've been listening to several papers now and I'm fascinated because they all come up with the same, uh, the same issue, which is the privatization, privatization of the universities, the privatization of research, the uh, emerging and growing role of research fund, of funding, research, foreign research funding, uh, for agendas and for a discourse of if, if you want to civil society, poverty, uh, uh, democracy, uh, development. You constantly need to be able to frame your research within strategic research projects that will somehow be relevant to politics, be relevant to business, etc. Multilateral institutions giving out, you know, um, research opportunities actually makes the academics or sociologists, um, their knowledge production is very highly commodified. It becomes segmented because unprivatized. What we have, I think, is homo consultorescus, someone who is out, out there looking for, you know, opportunities to make some, some acts. Uh, so I think that's it's undermining the whole 
interpreters of sociology in Mozambique. What is difficult now is to, to be a sociologist. It's, it's, so the question, I think, would be how is sociology possible to be? How is sociology possible to be? Because the social conditions to produce uh, a professional uh, 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 sociology are, are becoming more and more uh, uh, difficult. We're drifting gradually into the role of technicians calling do some studies, do PowerPoint graphs, <laughs> and show the, and then disappear. Um, those of us who are uh, academically more oriented, we tend to deal with all this donor organization as consultants. Hacer la sociología como hacemos, la hacemos nosotros tiene sus enormes inconvenientes por la enorme dispersión de actividades que uno tiene. Pero a su vez te da un, una, una, un sentido de realidad y un contacto con, con el mundo que no tendrías este, si, no, si no fuese así. Research is the same, you know, the privatization of research, but most of the research is heading towards consultancy. But when you look at uh, the production, the intellectual production, um, you will be, you know, it's striking to see how, you know, the poverty the poverty of, 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 if you want to, interesting sociological, anthropological research. For me it's clear that we need and we want to debate more and more theoretically. At that stage we did not debate, we just expressed this desire. We did not fight theoretically. The truth is that the U.S. is still being the center of knowledge production and most, you look at that at least from developing world, a lot of them are still training in the U.S. or in Europe. So you kind of go back home and bring, like a, the, the dominant ideology kind of get perpetuated. Uh, in my part of the world, may also be the case elsewhere, we do not have the opportunity to talk about theory. There are no conferences or forums on theory. So I think uh, it is important, and I support what others have been saying about uh, you know, highlighting theory, both in terms of highlighting local theory as well as um, um, revisiting Western classics. I mean, it would be very interesting and excellent to have uh, a theory on a, a conference uh, revisiting Weber from our point of view. Um, but the local thinkers are also very important. Theory will not come from only one part of the world or from some countries. Theory will come from various parts. It will be global. So the debate will be created globally, which means also in many local places. There's so many interesting thinkers out there in Asia, Africa, and Latin America that are waiting to be discovered. So you know, let's have these uh, forums and uh, workshops and conferences about these things. Thanks. Necessary because we do need a lingua franca. Some of my most talented colleagues do not feel that they can express themselves. How can Southern sociology participate in the global public discourse? Now is to, to be a sociologist. For me, it's clear that we need and we want to debate more and more theoretically. It's a time of transition in that sense. We are sort of being pushed into much more of a kind of global vision of what doing sociology is all about, global visions of collaboration across those kind of inequalities.